MSF had to find here in this labyrinth over 25,000 girls to vaccinate them. How did we manage that? In February, MSF launched a vaccination campaign against cancer-causing HPV, human papillomavirus, in three Manila districts where there are lots of slums. Twelve women die of cervical cancer every day in the Philippines. The vaccine requires two separate doses. During the first round, 25,000 girls aged between 9 and 13 years were vaccinated. Early August, we needed to find them again to give them the second dose. A huge challenge. To get a better idea, let's go to Tondo in the north of Manila. We're in Tondo in an area called Aroma. We're accompanying social workers from local association LICAN, whose goal it is to find the girls who've had the first dose of the vaccine. They're called community mobilizers. Thanks to their local knowledge and by going door to door, they managed to get many of the girls to come back. During the 10-week campaign, they covered the area informing families and referring the girls to the health centers for their second jab. The teams also used text messages to reach out to the girls. 10,000 mobile phone numbers had been registered during the first round of vaccination. Families of the girls who'd had the first dose received two types of text messages. Information messages explaining cervical cancer and reminder messages. Typically with this kind of campaign, we'd expect to reach 60 to 70 percent of people who'd come for the first round. But the methods implemented for this one enabled us to remobilize almost 90 percent of the 25,000 young girls and give them the second dose. So why, when the government had already organized a campaign with vaccines free of charge in the country's poorest provinces, did MSF and its partner step in in Manila? Manila, the capital of the Philippines and a relatively rich city, was not included in the government's large-scale campaign. That was forgetting that the city has some of the country's biggest slums and that the vaccine is very expensive, between 40 and 50 euros in the Philippines, an amount far beyond the reach of people living in the slums. As a result, MSF, its partner Lican and the Manila City Health Services took over responsibility for vaccinating a forgotten section of the population.